Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on the video. I really appreciate it. So yes, it's back. This is the uh, amplifier audio level meter kind of thing. I gave up on that project. So if you looked at that video or watched it, you'll see that I gave up. I just wasn't getting the results that I should have. I decided to actually bring it back out of the box and try to get it going. I really had some uh, very good uh, encouragement from the people that left some comments uh, in the previous video. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. So what I did or what I found to be the problem was a couple of things. There was a resistor here. It should have been a 330 ohm resistor. Uh, that's what it was, R25 in the schematic. But when you looked at the parts list, there was uh, two R25s. One was a 10K and then one was a 330, the correct one. And of course, I picked the wrong one. So I changed that. That helped a lot. There was one procedure in the actual alignment that it wasn't comfortable with in the previous video, and that solved that problem. And um, the other problem was this trim pot here. I couldn't get my maximum value, right? So if I'm on the three scale, I couldn't get three volts. I maybe got 2.1 or something like that. It just wasn't uh, working. Anyway, I had to change it to a higher value and that solved the problem. And there was another problem too. It was, the, it was these switches here. So this goes from um, uh, weighted and flat. And then this one goes from AC to DC. Yes, this meter apparently can measure DC also. And now I'm not about to uh, test that at this point. I, I, I got this thing going and I don't want to mess it up. I want to get it in a case so I can just demonstrate it. Maybe I'll put a little bit of a DC voltage on the input, uh, but I'd rather not. So that's, uh, anyway, so this uh, weighted and flat switch. Well, I thought bottom was flat and top was A-weighted, but it was the reverse. So that actually really had a big impact on the alignment. So if the alignment's off, obviously you're not going to get the correct results. So that will, that's what was wrong with this project. Anyway, I've got it on the three millivolt scale. So when you read this scale here, you're going to look at the bottom one, zero to three. Now, remember, I printed this scale out from the actual magazine itself, cleaned it up a little bit, um, but it's not going to be 100%. Uh, I can't get down to zero exactly, and that's only because the scaling is a little bit off. I probably should have spent a little bit more time on this little piece of paper, but I didn't. But anyway, again, this is an electronic magazine project. This isn't lab quality stuff. It's pretty crude, to be honest with you, but it's perfect for me, and I love it. So I've got one millivolt uh, on the function generator right now at one kilohertz, and we're reading one. Now I'll bump it up to two. You can see the scale goes to two and go to three, three millivolts. So again, I'm not 100% at the three, but I'll take it for a magazine project. And it's the same with all the other scales. It goes from uh, 0.3 millivolts, which I can't even test because my function generator will only go down to one, all the way up to 30 volts. There's a 30 volt scale. And uh, yeah, I get the correct results, just like this particular scale here. So I'm happy with it. I am going to put this in a case and that's the next step. I'll bring it back in when I get there. Okay, good news. I got everything in the case and it still works too. That's the best part. Um, yeah, everything fit in just nicely. As you can see, the there's a battery pack here. So there's eight AA cells in there. Uh, it's the, the, I think the reason they do that is they don't want any AC at all in this project box. Um, just because it might interfere with the actual signal uh, being read. Um, yeah, so there's the board, of course. And there's the shield separation between the two sections of the board and the meter and of course some switches here now these switches here don't have a screw on uh nuts so they're i'm gonna have to, what i'm gonna do is i'll put some uh, jb weld on it so they're just kind of flapping in the breeze right now and of course there's our main selector switch for the um different levels and there's a zero switch and in fact let me just uh bump it up here There we go. Yeah, so I've got everything labeled. Uh, 
uh, actually the label turned out pretty good. I was surprised. Yeah. So there's really nothing else to be said. So let me uh, put the cover on and let's give it a try. Okay, so here's a really, really good view of the meter itself. I've got, uh, right now, I've got a one kilohertz signal going into it from the Regal. And it's set for 100 millivolts, and I've got it on a 100 millivolt step. And we're, we are on the 300 millivolt range, and so that means we're going to use the bottom scale. So zero, one, two, three. So right now it's about 100 millivolts. And again, this is a magazine project, so don't expect accuracy that you would get from a lab kind of a device. And um, yeah, so let me just uh, bump it up a little bit. There's 200 and there's 300. Again, it's an electronic project from a magazine, so it's not gonna be accurate. Now, let me uh, show you one little thing I learned just before I turn the camera on that if you actually just tap it a little bit, it'll actually go to a little bit further on the scale. It's the same with the um, uh, bottom scale too. Sometimes, let me bring it down to 100 again. Yeah, you can see it's it, it's not on the one like it was before, but if you just give it the old tap, you get there. Now, the meter, I I suspect it's something to do with the meter. Um, I looked at the actual uh, needle itself, and it's not rubbing or anything on that paper. It's just a cheap Chinese meter I, I bought for 15 bucks and probably even less. So I'll attribute that to the meter itself. Um, yeah. So uh, this is great. It, it's a great two, uh, true RMS audio meter, and it'll come in handy with future audio projects, which, by the way, I do have a nice audio project that's coming pretty soon, maybe next week. Um, I've got all the parts for it, so stay tuned for that. And as usual, if you haven't checked out some of my other videos, please check them out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend and bye for now.